Hey Dave, are you drier now? I hope so. First off, it's pretty awesome today that my video falls exactly on this year's Esther Day. At the beginning of this year, I found this Tumblr account I may have mentioned before, vlogbrothershistory.tumblr.com. I'm watching them and still seeing all their rarities and the commonalities with everybody journeying together, all beginning with a project that John and Hank started. Not every day can stun and amaze, and not every single day is wholly monotonous and uneventful. It's usually somewhere in the middle. And I love being in that middle place while occasionally journeying to the edges. Esther Day centers me because it points out so much of what I love about humanity. Things don't have to be exceptional to be good. Meaningful experiences with people don't have to blow our socks off of them to be able to be enjoyed. It's kind of like the idea that we think that romantic love is the only kind of love that's important aside from family and friends and strangers on the street. It's the love that holds so much more together in the way that values and deep traditions tie people so together more than any image they ever could. I love choral music and Eric Whittaker's new heartbreaking song Child of Wonder that just came out. I love the sun and outdoors and thunderstorms. Curling up with a good book from Life's Library and listening to instrumental game music as I read. And talking to my family for two hours via Zoom even though we're so far apart. And celebrating and being connected in the ways that we can in the hard times that we face right now. And much more than that. I only have so many words. People and places. Communities and experiences. There's just a lot. There's a lot to appreciate. There's this line from Laura Lamb Brown's Little Boy's poem. On this, the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic, we reconsider the buoyancy of the human heart. It's from watching um, Ars Poetica videos. Sarah K. reads a line from the poem that says, my heart has an iceberg with its name on it. I never met Esther, right? And I don't need to. I don't have to meet a person for them to change my life in a deep way, but that is a very meaningful way to be changed by someone. But I'm thinking about that poem and how can the human heart hold so much tragedy and triumph and still continue to sing and hope and be gouged open by love and everything that happens in existence. Esther is one of the role models for that that modeled that well for me. Closer to my life modeled that and Claire Wineland modeled that and family and friends and all these people and even other people in my life that haven't faced anywhere near as much tragedy and loss, but loss comes. It always does. I go back to Rebecca Stolnit in the book I read about the idea of being rich in loss. Facing loss is the price of being gouged open by love, I think. The iceberg with my name on it is life. What remains and goes away, invisible, invisible. It kind of makes me not want to ever really possess anything. Possessing feels like attachment that doesn't want to let go. And change happens regardless of any sort of attempt in that. There's this other line that I can't remember what poem it's from. This joy that I know will soon be under snow. Well, or rain, as what happened to you, focusing on rain as change. I'm gonna get soaked anyway. It's gonna happen. That's the point. So I think it's best to enjoy to it and matter to it. Because I can. And I want to. So happy yesterday, Dave. I love you and I care about you. Enjoy your Dave, and I'll see you on Thursday.